unboxing myself a little 30 watt solar panel here this brand and the link will be in the description below they have a 20 watt one but uh most likely i uh, don't even put out the 20 it may be a bit lower it may be right on who knows but i have a dash cam that runs all the time off of a battery that really never dies it takes about a week to die but with this maybe it can last a little bit longer if i'm not driving my car at the moment comes in a nice thin box they delivered it just like this so everybody's gonna know what is on your porch if that's where they're delivering it the other side has my address so i'm kind of like opening it like this we're gonna do some testing on it but right now it's winter time so it's not going to be the best sunlight that's all that's in the box can't really show you guys in the box Nice little packing. Looks like we have eyelet. Uh, nice plug. The cords do feel cheaper than normal. Maybe they're about 16 gauge. We'll get to this after we look at everything else. We got the cigarette lighter. Plugs in there and the current goes back into your battery. Somebody said when you kick your alternator on or your car on that you have to unplug this um, it should have a diode in it which makes it one way here is the suction cups which all of them are deformed so if you're going to use them you may have to set them out for a little bit I'm not going to be using these because then you have to take it down all the time to see out the front window and I have a special tent on my rear window one of them was not deformed I have a special tent on my rear window that doesn't let the light that it needs through it protects your um, upholstery and everything on the inside of your car a little bit more. Um, alligator clips. They feel nice. I was trying to figure out why there's a red and a black wire going into just a black. It should just be one color. The other one just has a red. I wonder why that has two colors going into it. I'm sure it's just, yeah, it's just cut weird. It's really just a negative. They feel really good. They open pretty wide. Definitely do what I need it to do. And then they plug right into the bottom of the solar panel. So we got eyelet, USB, USB, and tong. These are the these are really cheap ones to tell. There's no groove right there. So these could pull apart if you use them for anything but this. Now for the solar panel. Which I gotta pull this through. We have ourselves. We'd love to hear from you. Just a comment card. Looks like the owner's manual. If you guys want to read this, screenshot it, zoom up on it on your screenshots. That's probably the stats you want to see. Basically everything that's online. The indicators to tell you when it's charging and when it's not. Uh, no voltage. Maintenance. You have to keep these clean. And that's where these plug in. These will plug right into there nice and firm I couldn't even get it in there all the way that's not the one I want to use so I'm not really gonna use it looks like it's got about a 10 foot cord I guess that's supposed to light up if it's charging the lights will be right there we'll see on our test video it does not bend like it's not the bendable one but it is bowed a little bit you guys see, oh yeah you guys can see that it is bowed it's not the mat where you can roll it out Looks like I got a little nick right there. No, it's like soap. A little bit of soap right there. It'll come off. Looks really nice. I don't really know what else to say about it. Super thin. It just feels like I'm holding a piece of plexiglass. And then there's stats on the back. Probably what was on that piece of paper. 30 watts, up to 18 volts. Weighs two pounds. 
Yeah, we'll have to test it out. This does not pull out either. It's all built into that block. Oh, there's some more of that glue. Some more of that glue right there. That resin that's on the other side. That's right there. Yeah, it looks nice. With the lights in my house, it's not indicating that it's charging. So I'll have to take it out. Let's go do some testing.